the ganapati atharva shirsha is a very important chant it is in fact called as the ganapati upanishad also the highest knowledge of ganesha and for practitioners of yoga you will find multiple aspects speaking about yogic concepts in there too but what we are doing now is not the intellectual understanding but the correct chanting there are many aspects to the chanting let us start with the simplest and then maybe over a period of time we go you know step by step we go into the details what is important is the pronunciations so uh, all of us know the aksharas in sanskrit we have k kh g gh ng ch ch j j ny t th d dh ln t th d dh n p f b h m y r l v sh sh s h r ch ny so these are the aksharas the vyanjanas and we need to pronounce them correctly and therefore uh, it is good if we practice them all not the aksharas but this you should practice separately later on and then when we chant if we can try and have the correct pronunciation that is going to have a correct vibration being set up within and a sequence of correct vibrations is what will bring that ganesha energy within us so keeping this in mind paying attention to the chanting and the pronunciation let us begin and we will begin with ganesha dhyanam स्थूलतनु गजेन्द्र वदन लंबोदर सुंदर प्रस्यन्मदगंधलुधुप व्यालोलगंडस्थल दाघात विदारी सिंदूर शोभाक वंदे शैलसुतासुत गणपति सिद्धि प्रदम कामद लेट अस रिपीट इट टू मोर टाइम्स खर्व स्थूलतनु गजेन्द्र वदन लंबोदर सुंदर प्रस्यन्मदगंधलुधुप व्यालोलगंडस्थल दाघात विदारी सिंदूर शोभाक वंदे शैलसुतासुत गणपति सिद्धि प्रदम कामद लास्ट खर्व स्थूलतनु गजेन्द्र वदन लंबोदर सुंदर प्रस्यन्मदगंधलुधुप व्यालोलगंडस्थल दाघात विदारी सिंदूर शोभाक वंदे शैलसुतासुत गणपति सिद्धि प्रदम कामद शांति शांति शांति
every day before the chanting of the atharva shirsha we will be chanting this dhyana mantra dhyana mantra is the mantra by which you invoke the form and here there is a explanation of that those who are interested can uh, do a little bit of study not just internet r and d but study and at a appropriate time i will also mention the meaning of that at the moment just think of the different aspects of ganesha and that you are connecting and you are invoking the ganesha energy chant it with bhav and the impact will be better then we will go ahead and do the ganapati atharva shirsha so what i have done is i have placed the transliteration side by side so for those who might not be able to uh so on one side is the sanskrit and on the other is the english you will notice that the first thing and the most important thing which we need to gradually do is when we have the anuswar that dot on top that dot on top generally we chant as bhadram so half m is chanted but in sanskrit there are variations in that and for convenience i have placed the specific syllable in at front of the anuswar if this becomes difficult you can always go back to chanting as the half m if you chant om bhadram karne bhi shrunyam devah bhadram pashye maksha bhirya jatrah sthirai rangai stushth vagunsa stanu bhi vyashema devahitam yadayuh that is not wrong it is correct it is okay but what we are doing is we are taking it one step further so the correct pronunciation or the refined pronunciation if i can use that word will be om bhadram karne bhi shrunyam devah bhadram pashye maksha bhirya jatrah sthirai rangai stushth vagun sastanu bhi vyashema This is a very subtle difference. It is known as the Anunasik. So we have ka ka ga ga ma, cha 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 ja ja ya, ta ta da da na, ta ta da da na, pa pa ba ba ma. So these are known as the Anunasik. and for the rest we have to use an anuswar and add v with it when we come to it i will show you let me go down and actually give you an example yeah so tameva kevalam artasi so what we should try and chant is tameva kevalam harta so there is a very slight v which is also pronounced so we have the anuswar ng and v so you will see over here tameva kevala nv so tameva kevala hartasi so a little bit of v it is not v full but just a half and in english what i have done is i have placed the specific instead of just putting it as m i have placed the specific anunasik in front of each of them so you can look at that you can practice this this takes a little bit of time but if we are learning then we need to go better are all of you clear on this and comfortable with this yes swami yeah thank okay. you yes sure okay so now let us start when we start the atharva shirsham we start with 
स्वस्ति शांति मंत्र एंड दैट इज द मंत्र वी विल बी चैंटिंग फर्स्ट श्री गणेशाथर्वशीर्ष ओम भद्रं कर्णे शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येमाक्ष्यजत्रा स्थिरंग स्तुष्टुवागुंसस्तनु व्यशेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्ध स्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्व स्वस्ति नस्ताक्ष्यो अरिष्ट स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं शाति 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 ओम नमस्ते गणपत प्रत्यक्ष तत्वसी कर्ता केवल धर्तावल हर्ता खल ब्रह्मासी ओं साक्षात्मा निृत वच्मी सत्यं वच्मी अवत्वाम्मा अवश्रोता अवदाता अवधातारम अवानुचानमशिष्य अवपश्चातात अवपुरस्तात अवोत्तरात्तात अवदक्षिणात्तात अवचोर्धवात्तात अवाधरात्तात सर्वतो मां पाहि पाहि समंतात तुम वांगमयस्व चिन्मय तम आनंदमयस्व ब्रह्ममय सच्चिदानंदीयसी तम प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी तमयो विज्ञानमयसी सर्व जगदिदंत्व जायते सर्व जगदिदंत्वस्ति सर्व जगदिदंत्वयमेश्यति सर्व जगदिदंत्वयि प्रत्येति तम भूमिरापो नलो नीलो नभारी वाक्पदा शक्तिमक योगिनो ध्याय ब्रह्मास्व विष्णुस्व रुद्रस्व इंद्रस्व अग्निस्व वायुस्व सूर्यस्व चंद्रमास्व ब्रह्मभूर्भुवस्व गणादीं पूर्वुच्चार्य वर्णादीं तदनतर अनुस्वार परतर अर्धेन्दुसित कारेण रुद्धम एकतव मनुस्व गकार पूर्व अकारो मध्यम अनुस्वारश्चा बिंदुत्तर नाद सन्धान सगुहिता सन्धि स ईशा गणेश विद्या गणक ऋषि निचुदायत्री छंद गणपतिर्देवता ओं गंग गणपत नम एक विमे वक्रतुंडा धीमह तन्नो दंति प्रचोदयात एक दुर्हस्थ पाशम कुशधारिण रदं च वरद हस्तरी बिभ्राण मूषकध्वज रक्तोदर शूर्पकर्णक रक्तवास रक्तगंधानुलिप्तांगक्तपुष्प सुपूजित भक्तानुकंपी नगत्कारणमच्युत आविर्भूत सृष्टियाद प्रकृते पुषात्म ध्यायति यो नि सोगी योगिना वर नमो व्रातपत नमो गणपत नम प्रमतपत नमस्ते स्थलोदराय कदंताय विघ्न विनाशिने शिवसुताय श्रीवरदमूर्त नमो नम फ्रॉम वर्स सेकेंड टू वर्स टेन इज the one which we will be chanting when we do the avartan 
this is the atharva shirsha proper when we complete all the avartans then we will go into the verse 11 when we are doing the repetitions the repetitions will be from om namaste ganapataye that is the verse 1 to verse 10 this is what we will be chanting 11 times so first time we will do the swasti mantra in the beginning then we flow into verse 1 continue till verse 10 then loop back to verse 1 and begin verse 1 to verse 10 we complete 11 rounds of this and then at the end we go into the phala shruti which is from verse 11 onwards एतदर्वशीर्षदर्वशीर्षयोधिते स ब्रह्म भूयाय कल्पते सर्वतमेधते सर्विघ्न बाध्य स पंच महापापात्रुच्य सायमधीया नो दिवस पापम नाशयति रातरधीया नो रात्रि पापम नाशयति सायं प्रात प्रयुंजानो आपापो भवती सर्वत्राधीयानोपविघ्नो भवती धर्माथ काम मोक्ष विंदती इदमथर्वशीर्षमशिष्याय न देय यो यदि मोहादास्यति स पापियान्वती सहस्रवर्तना कामधीते तमन साधयेत अनेन गणपतिमिशिंचती स वाग्मी भवती चतुर्थ्या मनश्न जपति स विद्यावान्वतीथर्वणवाक्यम ब्रह्मद्यावरण विद्यात न बिभेति कदाचने यो दुर्वांकुरैर्यजति स वै श्रवणोपमो भवती यो लाजैर्यजति स यशोवान्वती स मेधावान्वती यो मोदक सहस्रेण यजति स वाचित फलमोति यज्य सर्भिजति सर्वन लभते सर्वन लभते अष्ट ब्राह्मण सम्यग्राहय्वा सूर्यवर्चस्वी भवती सूर्यग्रहे महानद्या सौवाज्वा सिद्धमंत्रो भवती महाविघ्ना प्रमुच्यते महादोषा प्रमुच्य महापापाच्य महाप्रत्यवाया प्रमुच्य सर्विबी सर्विबी येदिषद ओम एंड देन हियर वी डू द सहना बवतु वंस अगेन ओम सहना बवतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर करवाहस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मेदिषा वह ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ इन दिस मैनर वी विल बी डूइंग द चैंटिंग ड्यूरिंग द अथर शीर्ष where all of you are able to follow it did you have any difficulties is there something you would like to check um swami ji i think it will be better if everybody takes a print out of this because yes. on phone screens it will be very small to read yes so we'll be sharing the pdf uh, of this yeah uh, there are few points which are pending to be done in the transliteration so i will be completing that and i will uh, share that uh, by today evening so that uh, then it can be shared with everybody okay sir theek hai theek hai so any doubt which anybody has or anything you would like me to repeat once again I think we'll have to listen it a couple of times, at least okay. for uh, newcomers like us. Yeah. 
ठीक है इज देर एनी बडी हु डज नॉट अंडरस्टैंड देवनागरी स्क्रिप्ट या ओके ओके सो बट आई थिंक यू हेमा यू ऑलरेडी हैव टेकन अ प्रिंट आउट इन टमिल राइट फाइन I have done a translation in English for uh, those who can't understand Sanskrit. I will just uh, there are few things pending to be done in that that I will add. Raj, you want to say anything? You are muted. You can put in the chat if you are not able to. Okay. we have uh, there is one person rahul khona i think oh samajh ah. so, ji now you are audible okay okay so pomi so, ji uh, the so i wanted to learn sanskrit it's very difficult so you gave introduction uh, about those words so can i just uh, practice those words just yes. focus on that, 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 But, that's uh, the reason why that is the reason why it is being recorded and it will yes. uh, you know it will be broken into appropriate bits and then uh, that this recording is going to be shared with all of you so that you can okay is this and uh, yes can go ahead i think we practice it couple of times a day that like will be times a, you know three times a day easily we can do yes it. that's good <laughs> sushil you want to ask something this from ji uh... i am not sure if uh, this is the first session of uh, ganesh sir sushya uh, but i am joining for the first time so um, just wanted to understand uh, uh, what does it mean intellectually and second iska mahatma kya hai so what does it mean intellectually that is a discussion we will keep for a later time because i want you to focus on the chanting there is a great significance and uh, we will come to it maybe uh, if i feel it appropriate during one of the days in the ganesh aradhana or after that batlaenge but just now i would like <clears throat> you to focus on the specific aksharas which you are chanting om namaste ganapataye डीपर लेवल देन once you start understanding after that the intellectual importance uh, can be brought in that is the uh, in, uh, intellectual impo- information but the mahatmya ganapati is a protective devata he offers protection he is sukha karta he is dukha karta so this is a time when we and have his blessings this period from chaturthi till ananta chaturdashi this is a period when ganesha annually visits the earth his energy covers the entire globe and therefore this is the time that we have to try and connect to that ganesha energy the sankalpa which we have taken that sankalpa is to chant the atharva shirsha a thousand times and what is the importance of that i will show you here in the atharva shirsha all of you are able to see my screen yes swami ji great so let me where is it ha ah, here it is see idam atharva shirsham shishayana deyam 
यो यदि मोहा दास्यति सपापियान भवति देन ही से सहस्रावर्तनात मींस वन हु डज सहस्र आवर्तन 1000 रिपीटेशंस ऑफ दिस यम यम कामयते तम तम अनेन साधयेत सो व्हाट एवर यू डिजायर विल कम ट्रू इफ यू चैंट दिस अ थाउजेंड टाइम्स दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई वी आर डूइंग दिस चैंटिंग अ थाउजेंड टाइम्स गणपतिम अभिषिंचति द ग्रेस ऑफ गणेशा विल कम टू अस एंड देन चतुर्थ्या इफ फॉर गणेशा चतुर्थी द फोर्थ डे ऑफ द लूनार साइकल इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी इंपॉर्टेंट he does that who does chanting on chaturthi sa vidyavan bhavati he becomes a scholar yo durvang kurair yajati jo dub hota hai savai shravano pamo bhavati he becomes famous yo lajer yajati lai hota hai wo dete hain sa yashovan bhavati sa medhavan bhavati usko yash prapt hota hai he becomes successful he becomes full of knowledge yo modaka sahasrena yajati one who offers modak is not that laddu but modak is that which gives me joy something which i love the most if that i offer then i will achieve everything and then it goes on and on here महाविघ्नात प्रमुच्यते यू गेट फ्रीड फ्रॉम ऑल द बिग डिजास्टर्स महादोषात प्रमुच्यते यू आर फ्रीड फ्रॉम ऑल द फॉल्ट्स व्हिच यू हैव क्रिएटेड महापापात प्रमुच्यते व्हेन वी आर इन द वर्ल्ड वी अंडर वी डू सम थिंग्स व्हिच वी आर नोन एज पाप सो we are freed of all of that and you achieve everything which one desires or one can desire everything is possible by chanting of the atharvashirsham so that is the mahatmyam and one thing which we need to remember is there are two types of sadhana one sadhana is sakam sadhana and one kaam is one sadhana is nishkam sadhana sakam sadhana i want to achieve 100 dollars 500 dollars one i want to get a new job all these desires they are known as sakam and whenever you are doing sakam sadhana there are 101 rules which have to be followed and if you make even a slight mistake there can be a problem but when you are doing nishkam sadhana there are no rules which are applicable and the beauty is when you do nishkam sadhana without any specific personal goal in mind for the benefit of the world since we are also a part of the world whatever we desire we achieve so therefore you know uh, uh, although it might appear that we should okay i want to do the sadhana for this purpose but actually if you do nishkam sadhana not only one purpose but all our purposes will be solved so therefore swami ji always said and my personal feeling also is the same we should go for nishkam sadhana and that is always beneficial and that is what we will be doing here kirti you are wanting to ask something ah uh, namo narayan swami ji uh, namo narayan uh aswami ji uh, i just wanted to ask about one letter uh, uh, uh yeah actually we our pronunciation is different uh, when you pronounce that word yes north india pronounce it as g y a and south india pronounce it as t n y a oh okay so which one is correct or both are correct mm you see in sanskrit this is known as path bhed that there is a difference in chanting in the same way mm. in uh, one school not all places in north india they don't say purusha sukta that sh mm. with uh, you know like o mm. in inside that mm. 
called as kh purukh sukta all kh is a different word but he, in one school of vedic chanting it is known as purukh sukta so wherever sh, sh comes they chant is mm. that is a part ved but mm. that is also okay through that also you are able to reach the ultimate through this also we are these are some uh, known differences which are there but both are okay so if you can't pronounce gnya you can go and pronounce gya also that is okay okay thank you so much okay so uh, we will do that and if that is all let us conclude today and then we will uh, continue if any of you have any doubts any difficulties you can always reach out to me any time and we can uh, take it further and we'll try and solve your difficulties so with this let us conclude namo narayan